Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome back to the Kettlebell Space Program. My name is Chris, and today we are making the Ranger as promised. Now, the Ranger is from the film Interstellar by Christopher Nolan. And again, I will say it again. I do recommend seeing the film Interstellar if you want to check out the scenery, which is my favorite part. But anyways, that's that. Uh, I do want to give a quick shout out to a fellow YouTuber who's re relatively new to KSP. His name is the KSP Designer. Now, I don't normally do too many shout outs. Like, I've had requests from like some no name people that I've never heard of, and people that don't even play KSP are like, hey, give me a shout out. Look, l let's talk about shout outs. I, I have KSP on my channel mostly, right? And like, tiny amount of spore and some other stuff. Now, I give shout outs to people who I talk to, I know, and actually do content that is relatively similar. The only exception to that is my sister, because my sister, of course, does a bit of Minecraft now. She is a person I know, obviously, so that's kind of there, but she doesn't do KSP, so yeah. But anyway, she's my sister, so that's the only time I'd ever give a shout out who, you know, for someone who has different content than mine. So there we go, that's that. Um, again, yeah, check out the KSP designer. He makes a few things, a few interesting things, relatively new. Uh, let's see how he progresses. Uh, yeah, so that's that. Now, if you take a look on the design that we are doing here, notice we are using the Rapier engines, which I'm not exactly a fan of. In fact, I've, I'm using these engines specifically because they look like the engines used within the actual film. So, yeah, that's why I'm using them. Otherwise, I would have used the turbojet engine and possibly like one or two atomic rocket motors. Uh, they would have been much more better than Rappi engines. And uh, let me quickly read a description of the Ranger that I have here on an image. So the Ranger is meant to be a single stage planetary landing and liftoff vehicle. But I mean, in this case, it's unable to orbit Kerbin. It's, it's more like a suborbital plane instead. Now, again, if I used turbojet engines and atomic rocket motors, I would have been able to make it actual, actually orbit Kerbin. But it, it can orbit uh, Lathe perfectly fine and Duna, right? You can do that, no problem. Even the moon, any moon will do. It could, you know, land and lift off by itself, no problem. So there's that. Now, uh, there was a, initially a, a big problem where the the center of mass was just below the the center of lift. Well, it was a bit ahead, but it was like just just below. And it caused issues in space where the whole plane would just spin out nonstop. And it was it was getting really annoying. And I, I spent some time. Notice how the the jet engines there, they look like like the, you can actually see them through the wings on the top there. That doesn't look too good. But when, when you turn off the engines, you can't see them anymore. They kind of disappear, which is you know slightly unusual. And uh, maybe we'll get to see it here in the in the video here. Let's see if we turn off the engines. I don't really remember. There's so much content. I spent uh, three, maybe four hours total on this on this project. Like you you'll see what else I did with this stuff. Yeah, it's off now. See how you can't see the jet engines, the top part there. So it's disappearing. So every time you activate the jet engines, you will know because you can actually see them through the wings. Incredible, right? <laughs> yes. And of course, here we are. We now go to orbit, which we will dock with the the spaceship that we made last video, which is known as the, oh, what's the name again? The Spaceship Endurance, which is this big circular type of spaceship. It's very un unusual, actually, as a concept. Very unusual. I don't know if that's actually something that a space agency is planning on doing. Yes, it would have to be very strong structurally, that's for sure. <laughs> so here we go, going to dock, docking, docking, docking. You know, I made a mistake where I I made the whole endurance spaceship. I put that into space and then, you know, how you see how we're doing this docking here with the, the, the ships, the rangers. There was a problem with the Ranger where I forgot to actually include the, the turbojet engines there for the Vito engines. And as a result, I, I completely forgot. So I had to restart by, you know, re, like taking off those Rangers from the space shuttle, 
ditching them and then launching new rangers with the actual turbogen engines for for the VTOL because they're VTOL yeah and take a look we have a lot of fuel in fact this thing is able to go to the Julian system I uh, couldn't get anywhere else but that's about it guys uh, I do hope you enjoyed it's kind of like a short video but yeah there we go bye